from Lone Depot Park in Miami. Here we go. The final game of Pool D with a spot in the quarterfinals on the line. These two rival countries, Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico, the visiting team for tonight's game. So here is their starting lineup Lindor, Hernandez, MJ Melendez has been swinging the bat well. So has Emmanuel Rivera. Javi Baez, when he's done well, their offense has produced Rosario Vasquez. Vimeo Machin gets the start at first base and the great Martin Maldonado one of the all time great defensive catchers behind the plate for Puerto Rico facing Johnny Cueto the veteran right hander for the Dominican Oh, Johnny Cueto Cueto looks like he's going to be dancing on that mound a little bit of the shimmy a little bit of the pausing a little bit of the quick pitching one thing's for certain though he's got to keep the ball down got to live on the edges and got to get strike one coming off a year where he pitched really well and this will be his new home ballpark in his upcoming big league season he's going to pitch for the Marlins now let's take a look at his pitch arsenal we understand it starts with that sinker after that is the kitchen sink baby change ups cutter four seam slider curveball for him he's got to be able to use all his pitches as we can see there with the percentages a little mix of everything he reads a lot of the hitters swings and clearly hopefully he has a the mojo going tonight. A little rain shower passed through Miami. It started to clear up. You can see the sun shining off the skyline downtown. The roof is closed. The sound will reverberate. And here we go. Francisco Lindor, who said just a couple hours ago that this game's going to be talked about 30 years from now in Puerto Rico and in the Dominican Republic. He's a leadoff hitter against Cueto. The first pitch of the night is called strike one. Oh, he ain't kidding about that. The Cagua shortstop got it off to a very hot start in this tournament. Tournament. A little bit of a quick pitch from Cueto, and he got the swing and miss. A little quick pitch change of action on him. He's got that change of cutter fastball feel to it. It'll be tough for these Puerto Rican hitters. Immediately ahead, 0 2. The door strikes out swinging. Oh, what a dandy, what a dandy. Back to back changeups right there. With a little Jimmy quick pitch, as we can see that turn on that changeup. Good location. If you want to miss, you want to miss down. You know, that's the beauty of this 36 year old Johnny Cueto. He feels energy, he feels swings, he feels the momentum. If he feels he's got to slow you down, he'll slow you down. If you feel he's got to kind of quick you, he'll, he'll quick pitch you. He's seen it all, he's been through it all. A little shimmy this time, and right oh, on the outside corner. And maybe with a little bit of help, strike one to Kike Hernandez. He's got four hits in the classic so far. Off the inside. Johnny Cueto, he's, took, he's taking advantage of the leg kick. You know, more than not, you're going to see Johnny Cueto do the shimmy, do the little dancing, do the quick pitching with guys that have leg kicks. A lot harder to do and to time up with what Johnny Cueto likes to offer. Here's 1 1. Kike, a high pop up behind shortstop. Here comes Juan Soto from left to make the catch. Two down. We went with a little bit of the pausing to all of a sudden. Watch this. And see ya. Cueto, who's always been a guy who will tinker with mechanics, try to mess with the timing of the hitters, but as his career has gone on, he's added more tricks to that bag. We're going to see a lot of that, especially here with MJ Melendez with the high leg kick. Unless MJ Melendez can simplify the leg kick. We're going to see Johnny dance. The shimmy and the pitch is fouled back. Now the defense for the Dominican Republic Soto, Rodriguez, Jimenez in the outfield. Machado, Wander Franco, first start in this World Baseball Classic at short. Could tell Marte at second base, Candelario at first. And that pitch is pulled foul, so now it's 0 2. And Cueto has a chance to make this a quick. One, two, three inning. Oh, that's a good pitch. It could be a wasted here on a changeup. Could rush him though. The full Cueto. Strike three call. What a start for.
Johnny Cueto. We are underway in Miami. After the quick top of the first inning, here comes the Dominican Republic in the bottom of the first. Soto, Rodriguez, Machado, what a top of the order. Rafael Devers, Eloy Jimenez, Wander Franco, Marte Candelario, Francisco Mejia, the catcher, batting ninth. Machado's been swinging the bat so well in this World Baseball Classic. And Fernando Cruz, who has just a brief, brief amount of experience in the big leagues, most of last year in AAA. He does throw hard great baseball journey to get here and how about him getting the ball here in this huge game. They need a zero in the first inning. Well he's their guy to go to a guy who was more than not in triple A closer for the Louisville bats of the Cincinnati Reds organization. This is a fastball slider heavy guy with some split change uses to the to the change to the left handers. First pitch. And oh. gets the ball on the outside of Soto for strike one. Yadier Molina, the manager for Puerto Rico, changed his mind a couple different times trying to figure out how to start this game. It is essentially going to be a bullpen game. Oh, not close to Soto. That's that split change. A lot of times early on, with a lot of energy like this in the first inning, you tend to overthrow that pitch. That's why you see that pitch kind of sailing high. It's got to kind of calm down a little bit, let the game come to him. Hard to do in this setting. That's outside. Did he go? No. Third base umpire is Tim Meyer. He said no swing. Well, one thing Yadier Molina did talk about Fernando Cruz had a couple of games where he pitched as the opener. So even though he's a reliever pitching as the starter in the first inning. We thought that experience would be helpful here tonight. He's behind Soto 3 and 1. The flip side is he hasn't pitched in this World Baseball Classic, so not just this big stage, the big game, win or go home, but your first chance to pitch in this setting. He didn't fare too well against Venezuela. Up and away. So Soto. Let's look at his pitch arsenal. I mean, you know, we talked about the fastball, the overthrown fastball. He likes to throw at 95, 96 miles an hour. But I think for me is that sli slider and splitter. He, he's going to rely heavily on that slider, splitter, cutter to set up that four seamer. Where more or not pitchers want to start off with the four seamer and the sinker. This guy's the opposite. A reliable guy, a guy they like to use out of the pen with his organization. He's going to come firing on all cylinders, especially with that breaking ball. Took him a long time to get to the big leagues. Finally got there last year, and now here he is in his first World Baseball Classic. But he walks Juan Soto, Julio Rodriguez, the hitter now. And the first pitch is fouled right off the foot of Rodriguez. He chased one off the inside part of the plate. And I think that's been kind of the the go-to on Julio. Haven't hasn't been able to control the strike zone. Julio is at his best. He's controlling the strikes and swinging at the right pitches. And with Cruz right now, you exploit that, right? Went up and in on him. Slow him down now. Sliders, that's your go-to pitch. Try to get a double play off the end of the bat. So go back to first. Even as we're talking about Fernando Cruz, the bullpen is already going. For Puerto Rico, and it's a left hander Giovanni Moran. So it, it could be that with Soto and then two right handers, two great right handers, Rodriguez and Machado, that could be it for Cruz. Yeah. The catcher, Maldonado, is going to come out. That's Maldonado at his finest right there. Kind of feeling getting rushed. Let's just slow it down. Good mound visit right here. Let's take a look at about you know the notes and Maldonado and what he does every day. I mean this is this is 10 11 12 pages of notes. He's the one that's got to get everybody through in that lineup. So for him there's a lot of studying involved. He's, I'm sure he was in the meeting with the bullpen guys earlier to, in today's in today's day kind of saying all right guys this is the plan. This is how we're going to go attack guys. You got the game plan against specific hitters. You also have to understand the full repertoire of all the pitchers that are going to come in and pitch in this game a lot for Maldonado to handle. 
Cruz right now just does not have his sharpness. It's two and one to Rodriguez. Well, he's bought himself a fastball count, hasn't he? Let's see if the great young Julio Rodriguez can take advantage. Rookie of the year last year in the American League. Incredible power speed combination player. It's a good 2 1 count for a fastball, but a lot of times Maldonado really likes to call that changeup with a little shake on it. So let's see, 2 and 1. Well, he got him to chase. That wasn't a changeup. That looked like the slider. Slider right there. That's a good pitch. I mean, look, all three of those sliders have been way off the plate. They're just exploding right now. Julio Rodriguez. Got to slow everything down. I, he has not seen a strike yet. There have been four pitches. It's two and two, but he's chased two times. Leadoff walk to Soto, just getting started. And Rodriguez strikes out swinging. That's that changeup that we were waiting for for Cruz. He's got a good one. It's a little split change. That was well, well located. So the defense for Puerto Rico, Rosario and left, Kike Hernandez in center field, Melendez. Is the right fielder Rivera, Lindor, Baez, Machin on the infield with Maldonado doing the catching. Defense should be a strength for this Puerto Rican team. No defense for what Machado's been doing the last couple of games, though, has hit some monstrous home runs and has come close to a few more. Well, he's been squaring the ball up these last few games. I don't think the four for 13 really tells the full story about his at bat so far. First time up against Cruz and he pops it up. On the infield. Coming down from first and making the catch. Machine who had to angle over at the last minute but he hangs on. That was a healthy hack right there by Manny. Got the fastball got the pitch he wanted just missed it. Not much there to talk about other than hey, he just missed it. But I think for Fernando Cruz, he, he's he's done his job. And I think that it's possible that say Machado had reached or he'd walked Julio Rodriguez that he'd be coming out of the game right now. We're on the left hander. Is ready to go, but the fact that he just got through those two righties gives him a chance to face Devers. Soto still over there at first base, and the ball outside. There's Martin Maldonado right there. <laughs> he starts early and often, right? Having that communication with home plate umpire Chris Guccione, who's got a tight zone for the most part. Work on him early and maybe you'll get some of those calls late. Absolutely. There's the 1 0. Ooh, a fastball by him. That's what happens with speed. When you have velocity, that's what happens. Right? You can get away with pitches. Hitters count, get a fastball out over the plate, up in the zone. Devers misses it. That pitch is 88, 90 miles an hour. Probably sitting 2 0 right now, Dominican. Rodney Linares, the manager for the Dominican Republic, has talked about what a great experience this has been for him. And a high strike given. Devers can't believe it. It's one and two. Look at Devers. He's looking at Maldonado. He's, he's looking at Guccione. He's looking at everybody. Saying that pitch was up. He was right. It's the first inning. One two. Went even higher. Devers wouldn't swing. You see Maldonado right there. No room for mistakes. I mean he basically got off his crotch right there. You see Yadier Molina. Boy. What, what a player. Pacing early. Just retired as a player. It's a whole lot different when you're the manager. When you can't contribute on the breaking ball count right here. Absolutely. Two. Got it. What a job by Cruz. Lead off walk. He gets through it. We go to the second. Nothing, nothing.
got here late today, Yonder. Those folks arrived at about 9 a.m. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing the feeling around this ballpark all day long waiting for this game tonight. We already had a game. Venezuela finished off undefeated in Pool D. They're off to the quarterfinals. The winner of this game advances. The loser is finished in this World Baseball Classic. Packed in Miami, inning number two. Johnny Cueto back to work. And a fastball Hi. right on the inside corner to Emmanuel Rivera. Well, his fastball has looked very crisp. He's got really good control with it. He'll feast off of that too. I think Emmanuel Rivera has had some of the best at bats for Puerto Rico in this tournament so far. Really good line drive approach. Pops that one up. Let's see if it's playable. First base side. Coming over to the rail and just out of the reach, barely. Uh, Candelario. <laughs> yeah. And then some high fives on his way back to first. You know, it's funny, Francisco Lindor, and lots of these players talked about that before this game. The rivalry is intense. The passion is off the charts, but this is a brotherhood between these two countries, between the players who play for these two countries. Well, I think everybody in the Caribbean, it, I feel like they're your, your cousins or second cousins. All the islands, a lot of similarities. The music is the same. The food, for the most part, is the same. The people are the same. The beaches are the same. All cousins. Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, separated by 40 miles. And sharing a love and a passion for this game. There goes Cueto. Rivera. I mean, that's the thing. You, you do all that and then you throw a fastball right down the middle. You might be a little more inclined to get away from with it after you go through that whole thing. Got to simplify as much as possible if you're Rivera. You still got to get the ball out of the glove. Still got enough time. All you got to do is just simplify it and slow it down with your eyes. That's a breaking ball count right here. Good change up count, good slider count. Guido's 2 2. Hit hard, beats it. Right back up the middle. Well, there's your first hit of the game. Countries are connected by so many things, but part of it is just simple geography. Here we are in Miami, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, the, the little slice of the Caribbean. There's an island in between the two, Isla Mona, and so it's the Mona Passage. There it is. Tough, tough seas, right, right in between that. Yeah, true. They're out there a ways too, about 900 miles from Miami to get there. Uh, called strike to Javier Baez. So the first hit, first base runner for Puerto Rico, Baez, and then Rosario will bat here in the top of the second. A little different now. He can do all the shimmy. That's true. Ground ball in the third. Nice pick backhand style by Machado. That's one. That's a double play. Well, Johnny likes it. Manny likes it. Dominican Republic likes it. That was a great play by Machado. Cut behind the ball, he gets perfect strike to Marte. And the Larry, all he's got to do is simplify it and catch it. Taylor made. Johnny loves it. That could have been a problem because that ball was hit hard and that tricky hop and Machado did what he's done so many times. He handled it perfectly. Once he squeezed it it was over. Rosario out in front against the changeup. One of the things you see there from with Manny he kind of backhanded that ball but with two hands just to make sure of one. Hold on the ground. Defense shifted. Arte scoops it up and throws out Rosario. Nine pitches in the first. Ten pitches with some help from Machado in the second for Cueto.
That's the tuba version of the typical noisemaker that the fans bring here inside the ballpark. <laughs> it's a big game. You got to bring the big instruments. <laughs> so Cruz stays in. He did a really nice job after walking the first hitter that he faced tonight. Got through Rodriguez Machado endeavors. So no score. Bottom of the second. Roy Jimenez, then Wander Franco and Cattell Marte. Jimenez will be the tough task. He's had a great tournament so far. He's been lacing everything. Four for seven in this tournament. He's done a great job with his body. I think he's going to have an amazing year this year, but so far here in this World Baseball Classic, everything his hit has been on the nose. And it's really been a nice, quiet, not trying to hit a ball 500 feet, just loud contact from Jimenez. Now he's ahead 2 0. Well, the thing I look for is is he letting the ball travel? Is he controlling the strike zone? And he sure has been doing that. You know, this guy has always been a pure hitter. They think the, the power is definitely going to come, which it is, but he's a pure hitter. He'll take the knock the other way. He hits out of the center field, Kike Hernandez, to make the catch. Another hard hit ball, though. How about this? 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Puzzle of this World Baseball Classic is coming together. We've already got one semifinalist. Cuba's coming to Miami, which I mean, that will be a whole another massive story here. Japan and Italy will play for a spot, and then the quarterfinals here in Miami. Mexico is in. Venezuela is in. Ball strike to Wander Franco, the winner of this game, and then if the United States beats Colombia. US team will come here to Miami for a quarterfinal game. Very favorable matchup for Cruz right here with after getting Eloy how talk about the splits with Franco from the left side last year 262 from the right handed side 335 we all know about Ketel Marte you don't want to see him facing a left you want to keep him on the left handed side so very favorable right now with after Eloy's out. That's a good point. Puerto Rico had Miranda, left hander, warming up in the bullpen. And with Franco and Marte, you want those guys to hit against a righty if you can. And that's going to be the challenge. After Eloy, all these guys are all switch hitters. Franco, Marte, Candelario, Mejia. It's a bullpen game. You want all your switch hitters in there. Into left center field. Sinking fast and down for a base hit. Hernandez got to it quickly and fired it back in and even though he threw it over second base just the fact that he got to the ball and got it in quickly keeps Franco at first. That's the first hit for the Dominican team. I mean that's a good piece of hitting right there on that split changeup. Very well located they didn't try to do too much very easily you can roll over on that pitch. But look at the path look at his top hand look how he never rolls over. It just continues to fight the whole time through it. A lot easier done than said. More said than done. Thunder is on his finest. <laughs> Here's Mark today. Who had a double in four at bats in his first chance to play against Israel. He swings at the first pitch and skies one to shallow right. Coming in on the ball is Melendez. And that's the second out here in the bottom of the second. And now another switch hitter, Candelario, will come up. Could be it for Cruz. Yadier Molina? No, he was on the top step. He was, he, he looked to me like he was coming out and he just walked right back down the stairs and back into his dugout. Yeah, we showed that shot. There's Yadier. We showed that shot of the kid with the puzzle pieces on his t shirt and the shared history of these two countries. You notice on the left arm, the glove arm of Fernando Cruz, he's got a tattoo of the flag of the Dominican Republic. He was born in Puerto Rico. His mom is Dominican. So this pitcher is sort of the epitome of that. Didn't get the call 
ball there, breaking ball just a little bit outside. Look at that. I mean, I think that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Sort of demonstrates the spirit in this ballpark tonight. Got to be careful with the splitters here or anything inside. Got first base open, basically. You can come the lighter, can roll over that ball, and all of a sudden you got first and third, possibly a double. And Franco's got really good wheels. The, the play here, though, is there's really no stolen base play. Maldonado with the cannon, Machete Maldonado. Yeah, that's, that is a big factor tonight. Maldonado behind the plate negates so much of an opponent's running game. Franco's fast. Oh, it's shut down completely. And he's got to go off the pitcher. 2 0. And that one misses. So now it's 3 0. That's just being careful right now. Obviously, understanding that hey, a rollover right now, it's a base hit. They do have the overshift on, Puerto Rico does. Of course, once the big league season starts, if you're watching the World Baseball Classic for the first time, it's last year's big league rules in play for this tournament. We won't see that alignment in the regular season in the big leagues. That is ball four. So he walks Candelario. Now, here comes the young manager. So the pitching change coming here for Puerto Rico. The Dominican Republic threatening in the second. We'll be back right after this. Yadier Molina, one of the all-time great catchers, fourth most games caught in the history of Major League Baseball, most by any player with one and only one franchise two time World Series champion 10 time all star four platinum glove awards and he played in this World Baseball Classic two different times for Puerto Rico now he's the manager amazing what a profile and he makes his first move of this game bringing in the left hander Giovanni Moran what a nice year with the twins a very nice year and you know what I like about it too 40 innings only 18 walks fastball slider changeup. Likes to use the changeup, likes to use the slider, especially down and into the right handers. Sneaky fastball, 93 94. From a guy that you may think, okay, I'm going to see a lot of soft stuff. No, he likes to throw his fastball. He's pitched 48 innings as a big leaguer. He has still not given up a home run. But one thing about this move, Mejia last year was a much better hitter from this side of the plate against lefties. Much better. Turn me here around to his stronger side. He went after that changeup. Yeah, don't be surprised here to double up on something soft. It could be that changeup or that slider once again. And he a free swinger, a fastball hitter, count type of guy. First runner in scoring position in this game. The book will be soft. Two on, two out. And in the dirt, it kicks away from Maldonado. So that will allow both runners to advance. That's big. I think Martin Maldonado will want that back. First lesson they teach her on blocking balls is where the glove goes, everything else leads. It was a little late with the glove getting it down. You see right there, just right under. That's you ask him 10 out of 10 times, he'll block that pitch. Base hit could have scored two for the Dominicans. It's only the second inning, but a pressure moment already. One one. And he's down and in. If you walk Mejia, then you have the bases loaded for Juan Soto. That is not a good scenario. Even left on left. I think if you're Mejia, you got to look up in the zone. Nothing down. A board down. Up in the zone is green light for you. 2 1. Oh. Right on the outside, 2 and 2. That's a very well located fastball right there. Now he's got him in between, right? Anything goes. Two two. Mejia stays alive just barely. Well, 
He's rushed him and he slowed him down early in the at bat. The in between pitch right here is that slider back foot. You got to trust Martin Maldonado. Morant's 2 2. Bahia strikes out swinging. Got him to chase in the dirt. Johnny Cueto can be a lot of different pitchers, can he? Oh, he's dancing. He's showing a little Alfa, a little Romeo, a little Juan Luis Guerra, a little Daniel Santa Cruz. He's singing. He's dancing. He's pausing. He's doing it all right now, feeling that shimmy. He's been outstanding. The last one, that's the one I call the, the full Cueto. But he's got from the quick pitch, the most simple action you can come up with to whole bag of tricks. I like your musical references though. I like them. Two and oh to Christian Vasquez. He's the DH. No score. Bottom third of the order here for Puerto Rico. Vasquez to deep left field. It is Had he stroked up. Look how tight, how clean he gets with that extension. That ball got out of here in a hurry. I'll tell you what, if you're Dominican right now, you got to be moving. This is game seven, like, it's time. It's time. Time to think about who might be next. That's two hard hit balls. Against Cueto to start this inning, as great as he was in the first two innings. And it is interesting, Puerto Rico, they've scored runs in this tournament this week, but that's only their second home run as a team. It's not a team that's been built on power. Milano takes a strike. But considering all the weapons that Puerto Rico has in their bullpen, an early lead is big. Even just a one run lead. Wouldn't be surprised with movement over here with no outs. Gotta be careful with Maldonado. He's frisky. He squares the butt and pushes it and gets it past Cueto. Gonna be a tough play, and they have no play. Does that count as movement? That's count, that counts as movement, putting pressure on the defense. Just a lack of miscommunication there. 
Not much to it. Maldonado, to his credit, though, that's a perfect bunt. Giving himself up. Well, guess what? The baseball guys reward you. And that's going to be it for Johnny Cueto. Cueto had a great first couple innings, but now Puerto Rico with a run across and a chance for more. We'll be back right after this. 26 pitches from Johnny Cueto, and hey, it's mid March. He's only pitched twice in spring training. It could be that he did start to run out of gas just a little bit. Four hits, the one run responsible for runners at first and second. And this tells you all you need to know about this game. One of the great late inning relievers in baseball is coming in in the second inning. Brian Abreu, who had a monstrous year for the Astros. Not only great, just impressive. I mean, 4 0 with a 1 9 4 ERA, but this is a game seven type of field. You want a you want a big time pitcher that can kind of hold this bleeding a little bit to its norm. It's this guy right here. The postseason. This guy has been nothing of short of greatness. And against left handers, they're only hitting 189. Look for him to attack these left handers early and often. Well, the situation dictates this is high, high leverage. You get two on, no outs, and the top of the order. The best hitter for Puerto Rico standing in the batter's box right now. Lindor swings and misses. Geared up for 98 plus, which is what Abreu could bring. And it's a little mix, right? It's 45% fastballs, 44% sliders. Doesn't really have a changeup. This is a fastball slider at bat. Now time around home plate. You know what also tells you that this is a, a, a game seven kind of game. Do everything, do whatever it takes. Martin Maldonado's last bunt hit was 2016. Amazing. Line drive, base hit. Lindor past the reach of the shortstop. Hustling around third, Machine, and he will score. Two nothing. Trying to do too much on this slider. Cagua's shortstop. Cagua's leader. Puerto Rican leader. The captain. Take that slider the other way. That's how you do it right there. Staying real tight, letting the ball get to you. Simplifying approach. What a guy. What a player. Machin sent the helmet flying so he could be a little faster getting home. Still nobody out and a swing. Hernandez tried to hold up. TK Hernandez couldn't do it its own one. That's the thing about Lindor, how big moments like this, when you talk to him, I've been with him in the postseason in a dugout. How simple and calm he is. Oh, that makes him so great. Gonna score the throw to third and safe at third. Could not quite get the tag on the foot. It's three nothing. We've seen it here in Miami. The big bouncer. The ball hits in front of home plate, and that's about the third time we've had a play like that. High chopper, not much you can do. But the beauty of this is the base running. The Lindor base running is key. The one Soto throw is not key. That ball's got to go to second base just in case. Luckily, nobody took the extra base, but the Lindor base running puts everybody in a pressure situation. Well, that's back to back hits against one of the hardest pitchers to hit in all of baseball. Both on breaking balls. Lindor, he's doing it all. Now coaching up MJ Melendez, who's about to come to the plate here. Puerto Rico's got a chance to make this a big inning. Three runs already in, still nobody out. 
And runners at first and third after the great base running from Lindor. The Dominican team has such an explosive offense. And they know they can come from behind, but they also know they got to keep it within striking distance. Careful with NJ, he likes to ambush. He's sitting on a pitch and he gets it, he's going. Abreu. That's ball oh. 19 9, strike one. He was sitting soft. That's a good fastball to hit right there. He just took it like, nope, that's not the one I was looking for. Infield defense shifted. The 0 1. High. It's a spot where the Dominican would love, love a strikeout. Give yourself an avenue to get through this with no more damage done. The strikeout is definitely the play here, but if you can minimize and get a double play, that's also fine. It's the top of the third. Slider, and that one is dropped by Mejia. Borderline pitch, two and one. Started with the home run from Vasquez, then Machin base hit. Maldonado bunt hit was a huge play. Four knocked in a run, and Hernandez with the big chopper for a base hit to drive in another one. 2 1. Fouled away. Got away with on the right there. Yeah, that slider had a little hang time to it. Sliders haven't had the bite that I'm used to seeing with Abreu. Got to be careful here. Going up the ladder here is not a bad pitch. If you're me here calling that slider, you really want to irritate back foot. Two. He threw the fastball toward the back foot, and that was blocked by Mejia. Want to block 100? No, thank you. Throw the glove at it. Stay hope. soft. <laughs> Just hope. I would think Kike is running here. It's a high leg kick. Three two. There goes Kike. Ball is rolled softly towards second. There's only going to be a play at first. Marte gets the out there. But Lindor comes in to score, and it's four nothing. That's the best thing that could have happened to Puerto Rico right there. Runners moving, soft ground ball to second base, nowhere to go but first base. The value of putting the ball in play there, get the extra run home, plus with Hernandez on the move, now he's in scoring position. And he's got good speed for the cleanup hitter. A guy again who's just he's had a lot of good at bats here this week Emmanuel Rivera five for twelve had the first hit of the game against Cueto slider no swing Sure, if you're a Brave, as much as you want to be concerned on the hitter, you got to be able to pause Kike and let him keep walking at second base. To center field, not deep. Coming in quickly, Rodriguez. Two down. That's a good fastball right there. Hitter third. Very well located. Got Rivera to be a little jammed. That's a little late. But Javier Baez does get an opportunity here. Hit the ball hard his first time up, but Machado and company turned it into a double play. It's been a steady diet of breaking balls for Javi. 
All tournament. You would think one would be coming here. Abreu. And that's exactly what it was a 90 mile an hour slider. You can live down there. That's the go to the whole the whole bat. Maybe rush one in, move his feet a little bit, move his eyes, but more than not, that's 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 the go to pitch right there. And have you adjust. Another slider 0 2. So good. I mean, I've seen I've seen him hit a homer on that pitch. The magician El Mago out of Bayamón. Ryan Abreu trying. To finish off the top of the third. Four runs already in. 0 oh, 2 to Baez. The pitch. Just fouled off. One of the things I, I key on with Javi is, is that leg game. How control is it? How simple is it? How quiet is it? We can time it up. When he lands, it's, it's a soft landing. More than not, good things happen, happen for 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 Baez. Oh, two. Up with the fastball and pulled it outside. But even if that pitch wasn't located, it's okay. Javi got to see velocity right there. So his eyes right now and his brain is just everything's moving a little faster. Abreu fouled away. Slider that kind of backed up on him a little bit. And it is amazing. And there's a real contrast between these two teams. Oh, yeah. The Dominican Republic has struggled in at bats with runners in scoring position. Puerto Rico, 18 for 39. The beauty of it, when you look at this lineup, it, it, they're all made for moments like that. All these guys, from top to bottom, they they they've had some big moments with RBI situations in their careers. Right now, Javi's looking to add on to to the moments of his careers. Another one-two coming. KK Hernandez leading away from second. The pitch got it with the slider. Beautiful here in Miami. Such a great venue. Every round of the World Baseball Classic will be played here. This pool D, and then two of the quarterfinal games, both semis, and the championship right here inside the home of the Marlins. But no matter what happens in the quarters, the semis, or the championship game, it's going to be hard to replicate what we have here tonight. Top of the order for the Dominican Republic, and they need to get it going now because Puerto Rico has jumped ahead for nothing. They built a couple of chances, but have not scored yet. Juan Soto skies one to center field and deep. It is gone, and my goodness, way out of here. Santo Domingo. Juan Soto's here. He had his platanos. What an answer. What a swing. 148 feet. My goodness. He hit it so high. And it made it out of here by a long, long way. Oh my goodness. You talk about it starts one batter at a time, one pitch at a time. Juan Soto said, okay, 
I got this. Game's not over. We're going to answer. He's got the presidential sash on. That's the home run trophy. You hit a home run, you get to wear the presidential sash in the dugout for a minute. And if you're Moran, though, you're, you're, you're minimizing right here. Solo homer's not going to kill me. I just got to go get and throw. I just got to go and throw strikes. Continue to throw strikes. Rodriguez checks his swing. Julio's kind of in swing mode here tonight. He's been swinging at everything. Well, let's take a look at this pitch right here. A little four seamer right on the heart of the plate. Just too much of a good hitter for you to miss there. And watch this. We don't see too many people go back there like that. I haven't seen many hit there. It's tied for the longest home run in this World Baseball Classic, and you can probably take a pretty good guess who also hit one 448 halfway across the world. Mr. Otani. Mr. Otani. Uh, not a shock there. They've rushed Julio big time during this at bat. They have. Everything's been quick on him. They're going to expose it. I mean, you got so many options, so many windows. You can go down, down and away. You can go up and in and continue to go up and in. Just got to get a good pitch of your Julio. One, two. Had a good cut there. This side swing with the control he is with his backside. How the connection is just so beautiful. He knew it. I just couldn't believe how far that ball carried. Uh, that impresses even the big leaguers. Oh yeah. We got Rodriguez to chase there. Rodriguez, little out of sorts, his first two at bats tonight. Just been rushed a little bit. Timing's kind of in between. I think Moran did a phenomenal job. We got him through a mess in the second inning, and then he gets him through Rodriguez here in the third. Pitching change coming. Now it's four to one with Manny Machado coming up right after this. You hit a home run like that, you can talk about it as much as you want. Manny Machado's hit a couple already. Not only has he hit a couple, I think just overall his swings have been really good. Using the middle part of the field, you hang a breaking ball. It's a mistake. He'll make you pay for it. Well, that one was almost impressive. That second one as Soto's home run. Machado hit it up onto the balcony. Hit it almost 440 feet. Tonight, might have just missed one. He's 0 for 1, popped out. And he'll face a new pitcher for Puerto Rico. That's Yaxel Rios. Big arm, 97, 98, 99. It's a fastball slider combo type of guy. You see you in AAA with the Chicago White Sox, 491 ERA. 33 innings, 38 strikeouts. It tells you he's got power stuff. How good are the big leagues? Guy throwing 99. Pitched in AAA last year. Wasn't room for him. Got a good fastball. Challenge Machado twice, one in, one up and away, and two pretty good swings, but it's 0-2. That's a healthy cut right there, but that's what velocity does to you. You, know, you can make a mistake out over a good zone for Manny and 99 more than not. You square it up, you square it up, but you just you're a hair later, a hair early, you'll file it off. Now these sliders are tight. More than now, they're down and away. They, they 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 look like a fastball coming out of the hand. Right at the last second, they dive. Chano behind the count, 0-2. In the dirt with that late hard biting slider. Winner of this game on to the quarterfinals. The loser is finished in the World Baseball Classic despite all the talent on both 
these rosters one of these teams is going to be eliminated tonight. One two. He got it with the slider. Good, really good soft stuff there with that split change. It's got that cut feel to it. When a guy's throwing 100 miles an hour, I mean that just looks like a heater is coming. So you kind of have to respect the velocity. Is anything down with that four seam? He's gonna ride up. If you throw a change up off of that. That's tough. Hey, bottom line is gotta hit the fastball. Yeah, that one fooled me. I thought that had more slider break to it. That was that was a great pitch. Devers on the first pitch. Ground ball into the defense. Baez down to a knee, throws him out. Yaxel Rios gets a couple outs. The Dominican, though, does get on the board. A monstrous home run from Juan Soto, who right now is so locked in. Long way to go here in Miami. It's four to one. Back here in Miami. Now, really, I mean, that's right now, but that was the scene two hours. As soon as the doors opened to this ballpark, the fans just poured in the anticipation for this game around this city in South Florida, this part of the world. Hardly be higher. Rafael Montero comes in, third pitcher now for the Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico with a four run inning. They lead four to one. In Rubio. Oh, they love it. The players have all dyed their hair, the coaches. And okay, if you don't have access to the hair dye, well, you get the hat. The hat. Even the coaches. Yeah, they're in on it. Some more naturally than others. Eddie Rosario for Puerto Rico. And he takes all one. One thing's for certain, Wafra Montero, he likes his fastball. And he's up against a guy that likes to swing at the fastballs. Location's got to be key here. Can't miss out over. Montero looked really sharp his first appearance in the World Baseball Classic. That one hit to right field and pretty deep, but not quite deep enough. Jimenez one away. Montero. He's kind of looking at Rosario. Rosario's looking at him back like he's got away. He's got away with one there. So now Christian Vasquez got the scoring started last inning. Let off the inning against Cueto, the starter who was still in, and blasted. First home run of the World Baseball Classic. Only the second one for Team Puerto Rico. We showed you those numbers with runners in scoring position. That's how this team has scored its runs. A very different approach for the Dominican team. Just inside 2 0. Well, just like the first at bat. Felt behind on Christian Vasquez 2 0. Threw him a fastball. Christian was ready for it. We know something about Montero. He likes his fastball. He's got right at the top of the zone. Let's see if Christian can get on top of this. Right. These guys won a World Series together last year. Christian Vasquez, who started the year with the Red Sox, had won a ring with Boston a few years prior. Traded around the deadline, so joined Houston, won a ring. So Vasquez and Montero, they know each other. Just missing, a little bit low, three and one. Montero's asking Luciani, where was that? Uh, we'll tell him. Nice sinker, there was a ball. Got himself another fastball count. A lot of times Montero likes to shake, but the shakes are just dummy shakes. Just to make Vasquez kind of get into his head a little bit. See, Mejia kind of telling him shake a little bit for me. Fastball there, three and two. 
just a mind game. Turn spots right here, 3 2. Now I know he's been down in the zone. He likes to elevate that pitch. There we go. 3 2. Foul tip held on by Mejia, strike three. Well, that's got a lot of ride, doesn't it? See a lot of foul tips with that. You talk about the splits, huh? Yeah, he struggled in 2021, but put it all together last year and became one of the most reliable parts of a dominant Astros bullpen, which was one of the main reasons why they won the World Series. You look at this split, the opponent average. 2021, 296, close to 300. 193, 2022. And that's a huge difference. Strikeouts were up. I think for Team Dominican, that's a big, they can, if they can stop Puerto Rico right here in this inning, that's that's big for them. Kind of soften the blow a little bit. They got to run back. It's a 3 nothing game. That's how, if you're Dominican, that's how you're seeing it. If you're Puerto Rican, Puerto Rico, hey. We can just attack and attack and attack. I mean, look, it's a little early to start thinking about it, but the ultimate weapon for Puerto Rico is Edwin Diaz. He's in their bullpen. Game shortens. It does. And his brother's not bad either. One and two. Now both of these bullpens, and if you look at their names and their track re record, the game shortens for everybody. <laughs> you got the two Diaz's, Alexis, who had a great year. I mean, nobody was as dominant as his brother. Jorge Lopez, excellent option for Yadier Molina as the game goes on. The one-two to left center field, off the bat of Machine. Soto will track it down. And that is a one two three inning so maybe some of that momentum now is swinging to the side of the Dominicans Jimenez Franco Marte coming up. Long way to go in this game but Puerto Rico with a 4 1 lead. A baseball party in Miami and then some almost unlike any we've ever seen the Axel Rios. Stays in the game. He got Machado and Devers in the third inning. And now they'll face Jimenez, Franco, and Marte. And William Jimenez lined out to center field back in the second inning. Put the overshift on for Jimenez. Powerful right handed hitter. That's that tight slider. Yeah. It is tight. It's a good description for it. Just just runs away from your barrel just enough. I think for me it's the tight slider but the velocity is the change there. You go from 99 to, to 90. Any deception like that going south going down. Very tough for a hitter. Some injuries, but talk about what Eloy and 162 game average. I mean, those are impressive numbers right there. It gives you an idea of the potential if he could just stay healthy, play a full season, what those numbers might look like. Big bouncer to third. Rivera throws him out. Rios. <laughs> was he just getting out of the way? Yeah, he was getting out of the way, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he really hit the deck. Get down. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure. A couple of things we've seen here. A lot of first pitch breaking balls. Soft stuff. 
Obviously with reels, the soft toss is pretty hard, right? 90, 88. Let's see if he challenges Franco. Yeah, he did. No wonder had a hit his first time up. Young star for the Tampa Bay Rays, also healthier and trying to put together a full healthy big league season. A lot of all of the, that fastball right there was Maldonado, man. Being able to that first at bat to stay back on those breaking balls, getting that that knock. Maldonado says, "All right, we'll make an adjustment on you. You've proven otherwise. One-one counts are, are huge, especially in a game seven style. Got to be able to win them." That split change. Now, now you got windows, right? You won that pitch right there. That's a big pitch. If he doesn't win it, it's 2 1. Big favor for the hitter. Now you can go anywhere you want. You can go up the ladder. You can go with that cutter back foot. You can throw that split off of it. You can repeat it. Very tough spot for Franco. You're Franco. You're kind of doing the same thing you did in the first at bat. You got to see him up. Just take your knock. Maybe wants a fastball. One, two. A liner and a leaping catch by Lindor. Two down. We talk about velocity. No jam. You see that jump by Lindor. He can get much higher than that. There he is. Practicing. <laughs> Just in case the next one's a little bit higher. Boy, he has fun, doesn't he? He does. And I think he sets the tone for this whole team. There is something about this team from Puerto Rico. And look, the names have changed from 2017. That was our last World Baseball Classic. But two oh. tournaments in a row, they made it to the championship game. 2013, 2017. Tell Marte takes strike one. Switch hitter batting left handed. Foul ball 0 and 2. Well, that's been special. Jimmy Garcia. Get him ready. We'll likely see him in the fifth inning, which could be one pitch from now. Well, that back foot slider, that change of is beautiful right now. 0-2. Marte up the middle base hit. He got that change up, and Marte was on it. He threw the right pitch. I felt like the execution just wasn't there. Little rush with it. Got in front of it, didn't stay behind it. As we see that split, look how much it breaks. Not enough right there. Marte did a great job simplifying the approach. It's a pretty good barrel right there. Let's take a look at the side swing. Just goes with it. No panic. We're talking about those strong hands. Oh man. Marte. They're blocks. Candelario with a runner on gets an opportunity against Rios. Fastball misses. And this is a guy who was the last replacement player for essentially for the Dominican Republic. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. was supposed to be their first baseman. Had to back out of the last minute, tweaked his knee in spring training. Nelson Cruz asked Candelario to join the team, and he has been their first baseman, and he's played well. Rips that one to first and it's caught. Machine caught it. What a play. Holding the runner on, he was right there. If he'd been off the bag, who knows? Maybe an extra base hit, maybe a run. Nicely done. It's 4 1, Puerto Rico. New pitcher for the Dominican Republic, and it's Yimi Garcia, the right hander. He is already the fourth pitcher of the game. Both sides are playing this for what it is an elimination game, essentially a game seven. 
Needs a zero. That's all he wants right now. Get three outs. The quicker the better. Uh, but we see Jimmy. He's been around for a long time. 61 games. 58 punches in 61 innings. Only 16 walks. He's going to be around the zone. He's got a feel for all his pitches. Fastball, curveball, slider, changeup. He'll throw it all in any count. Yeah, it's interesting. We saw this game described because so many people have said this is going to feel like a World Series game. And it does, but we've seen some folks describe it as a Caribbean Super Bowl. And I think the idea of it's just one game win, go on, lose, it's over. Martin Maldonado, who had a huge play his first time up, he takes one just outside, ball one. He hadn't had a bunt hit in a game since 2016. <laughs> what a time. Vasquez had hit the home run. Then you get a base hit from Machin. So one on, just one run in. It was one nothing. But the bunt hit was the play that really set the whole rest of the inning up. Maldonado right there jumping on that heater, seeing two heaters. Let's take a look at that bunt. Little push bunt, trying to just do a sack bunt. That two seamer kind of came in on him. It just it was just an excuse me, excuse me, bunt. Got it by Cueto. Even with Maldonado running, it was a hit. Yeah. One and two. Hard to overstate the impact he has on the pitching side of things behind oh, the plate. Unbelievable. And that's where Christian Vasquez was traded to the Astros last year and Dusty Baker went to him and said basically look look I apologize we want you here we need you here but we we have our guy we have the guy that our pitchers trust 100 percent Donadano liner to left here comes Soto to make the catch. Anything he gives you offensively is just a bonus. He really is that good. He is that points. good. He turned over the lineup. Now the problems begin, right? Yep. Lindor had the base hit. That threw gas on the fire in that third inning. Got the second run home. Now he lights this one to center field, and that's another hit for Lindor. And it gets by Rodriguez. And Lindor is off to the races to second. Heading for third. We'll see if they send him. And they are going to send him. The ball's bobbled. Lindor all the way home. Tricky situation right there on that line drive. Julio just didn't read it well. Then during that moment, he knew he was in trouble. You see Lindor right there, little little kids homer inside the parker. How much fun are they having right now? Oh. The leader, the captain, Mr. Caguas. And now another line drive into right center field, and that one gets by. Jimenez made the dive. Hernandez on the move. Digging for third. The tag. He is out at third. What a relay. Hernandez thought he got there, but the call was out. Alex Centrone on the phone. They're going to challenge it. Marte with the relay. Oh, he's safe. It's a swim move. Who's going swimming? He learned that from his teammate. Javi Baez does that better than anybody in the world. And I think before the tag. Oh, what a 
slide. What a moment right now for Puerto Rico. Amazing. Turn the lineup over. Problems begin. Everybody here sure thinks the call is going to be overturned. I, I, I mean, I'm not. I think his finger gets to the bag before the glove touches him, but it's not like it's totally obvious. The problem is they called him out. Well, it's got to be sufficient. I mean, it is really, really close. It's a lot closer than the, and I understand the fans yeah. are looking at it with a certain perspective, but it's close. Ron Culpa is the crew chief. The umpire, Tim Meyer, who made the call, one of the international umpires. He's from Germany, part of this World Baseball Classic. Fans are upset, but it was really, really close. And I think you could lip read from Chris Guccione too close. Couldn't tell essentially. Wow, what a what a relay from Cattell Marte and the tag by Machado. Maybe who knows, maybe just saving the chances for the Dominican in this game. Well, it started with Julio. With the throw, the yeah. first throw. He hustled over. He hustled over. He had the knowledge, even after a bad play, to do his job after the next pitch, turning the page on on the on the issue. Good point. Because it would have been easy for Julio Rodriguez to be rattled. Let's talk. Let's take a look about Julio turning the page on this move right here. I think we're going back to the previous one. Well, that's the mistake right here that cost him. And yeah, he just got caught in no man's land. That's a bad feeling for any outfielder. Especially when you know the guy at the plate is as fast as Lindor is. Lindor made it from home to home in 15 seconds. Look at him run. Look at him smell it. All right, here we go. Make the turn. What I love is the way he steps on third base right there on top of it. <laughs> that will be an image and a memory from this World Baseball Classic. He talked about they're going to talk about this game 30 years from now. They might be talking about that play 30 years from now. Absolutely. That's a lonely feeling for young oh, yeah. Rodriguez out there. Melendez strikes out. Back here in Miami. Crazy game so far. A long way still to go. Alexis Diaz. He, he may not be his brother, but the numbers are dominant for Alexis. Oh, maybe not as good as his brother, but very, very close. 59 games, a 184 ERA with 83 strikeouts. This is explosive coming at you. Pitch up and away. This was in between innings, by the way. Robinson Cano, Nelson Cruz decided they needed to have a little meeting. Yeah, I think it was a good meeting. Calm everybody down with the same urgency. Hey, we got to start right now. One batter at a time. I think that was that was Robbie Cano who had something to say. The former MVP of the World Baseball Classic. The year that the Dominican Republic won this championship. Bahia takes outside. It's 3 0. Oh. You don't see that many meetings in a dugout during the regular no. season. You see them in tournaments like this. The blood of the fire, the heart. The win now. If not, we go home. You got to stop any bleeding that's happening right now. That meeting was needed. 3 0. That's ball four. So Alexis Diaz, a four pitch walk with the top of the order coming up. And we'll see if that 
can start a rally for the Dominican team. Well, one thing's for certain with Alexis. 66 innings, 33 base on balls. That's been his knock. That's it. He can get wild. Hey, Maldonado's doing a good job of that. Just slowing him down and say, hey, it's five to one. We got to slow things down. You got to throw strikes, but we let's take a look at Juan Soto, huh? This is the guy he's got to face now. This was Soto's last at bat. 448 feet to dead straightaway center field. Oh man. And his at bats this week in this tournament have been unbelievably good. And, and, and it doesn't get any easier for, for Diaz right now. He is majority fastball slider. This is a two pitch at bat right here. So no went around. Little plate umpire made the call himself. He came into this tournament with the Padres. Soto had the calf strain a few days ago, a few days before this World Baseball Classic started. And the idea was he wasn't going to play back to back games. Well, he looks so good right away that the Padres said, Go get him. Go get him. Well, he's answered the bell. I'll be very careful here. This 1 1 pitch. Lexi's got a good fastball. He could challenge him, but it's been back to back sliders. Usually, Soto's not going to help you out and go out of the strike zone. That is out of the strike zone. Soto with the big stop sign because the ball rattled out of the mid of Maldonado, but it bounced right back to him. And they're trying to be very careful with him. Yeah, that's you can understand why. But you're up five to one. You got the heart of the order lined up here. This may be the chance for the Dominican Republic to get right back in this game. Two one. Three and one. And that's respect right there. Two and one. Just, they just showed him a fastball. That's all they've done. Well, Soto, he sticks with a fastball at all times. He's always, he said that to me. Hey, I'm always looking for the heater. I adjust off of that. They try to sneak a heater here. It could be problems. Three-one. Way inside, not close, and it's back-to-back -back walks. I don't know what he said. <laughs> now Yadier Molina starts the pacing. Never had to do that when he was a catcher, yeah, when huh? he was a player. So you want to be a manager, huh? Yeah, this is what you signed up for, Yadi. <laughs> well, what about this moment, too, for Julio Rodriguez? Who has gone 0 for 2 in the game with two strikeouts, has looked over anxious at the plate, and just made a terrible mistake in the field that allowed Francisco Lindor to just keep on running all the way home. And he's got the chance right now to put that in the rearview mirror. This is going to test his mental toughness. To game seven, though, only 22 years old, but. Would they would they try to just maybe do a sack bun or a push bun here or kind of a surprise play right. You need runs right now. It's hard and you got to understand your ego a little bit and check your ego at the door and say hey okay. Can, can, can we go for the three run homer here or the two run homer. All right, here we go. That is a ball. Oh, that, that's a good take. That's a good sign. I think the only way you would consider something like that is if you really thought Rodriguez was just totally out of sorts. You trust him to be him. It's oh. another slider for a ball. And the takes keep getting better and better. Pressure builds. Your Julio though, you gotta stick with your fastball. See that ratio there. I mean, he hasn't thrown a strike. That's not good. I know he 
just throw one strike, but it just feels like you know, he's been all over the place. Rodriguez, well, he got a fastball. I mean, that was there to hit. Bullpen working, Nicholas Padilla. Manny Machado is looming in the on deck circle. Or well, Julio was late on that fastball. Will they repeat that pitch? Can Julio make an adjustment? Start his timing a little earlier. Two one. Three and one. They wanted to. And he's bought himself another fastball. Hit left field. Mejia had to hold, so he'll stop at third. And now we're going to get Machado with the bases loaded. That tells you something about that young man, Julio Rodriguez. Look at him. You think this means anything to him? He got himself a fastball, a good fastball count by taking those sliders early on. The runners had to wait, though. Really good base running all around. Got a good pitch, got a good swing. Base runners were just base to base. Now it leads up El Ministro. Oh boy. Tying run at home plate, nobody out. There are a lot of great players on the field. Well, Manny's been watching. He hasn't thrown that many sliders for a strike, if any. One of the greatest at the plate here. And a rip shot foul. He went after that first pitch slider. It was a good one, though. Machado. Got 12 career big league grand slams, by the way. A one. Way inside at 96. That's a good take right there. And he likes to window shop. It's it's up in the zone where he likes it. That's where he goes shopping. Anything down, he kind of just lets it go. Even with that slider, it's got to start up. Everything's got to start up. The 1 1. On the ground to short. Could be two. Lindor, that's one. Baez to first. Got him double play. Mejia comes in to score, but a huge double play for Puerto Rico. That's a huge double play. And he just leaked a little bit. He has made the right pitch, though. I think if you're Puerto Rico, you'll trade away one run for two outs. Oh, absolutely. Taylor absolutely. made double play right there. Well, that guy at the plate, that's about as good a result as Puerto Rico could possibly hope for. But the inning isn't over. You still got that runner at third. That's a big run out there. And Rafael Devers stands in. Juan Soto over at third base. Oh, got the friendly call. That was really unhappy. And that's the second pitch in this game that he has been very upset about. That was a miss right there. He had the really high strike called against him earlier in this game. So he's agitated. The 0 1. Foul back. He has got his mojo back. Got that double play and just kind of, okay, slow it down now. Let his stuff do the work for him. You got yourself in this mess. Get yourself out of it. 
been the story for the Dominican Republic. A lot of opportunity. Not often the big hit. Now time at home plate. They could use one right here. This game would feel a lot different. Yeah. Way outside and Maldonado almost a miracle he got to that one. That keeps Soto over a third. Only, only to me because he was set up up high. Did he catch that? That was a big miss. I think the adrenaline's pumping. Oh man. To Devers a pop up. See if it stays in play. Looks like it will. Rivera makes a catch. Gave up a run, but only the one. We go to the sixth. It's five to two. This copyrighted telecast is presented by Authority of World Baseball Classic Inc. May not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. The accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. Dave Fleming, Yonder Alonso here in Miami. Your town has stepped up for this event. <laughs> it? City of Miami welcomes you. Miami Dade County wel welcomes you. Just the absolute <laughs> perfect place. For these two teams to meet. With a spot of the quarterfinals on the line, Diego Castillo now out of the bullpen for the Dominican Republic. Another run closer, but disappointment, I think, that they couldn't come up with a big rally. They had a great chance. Yeah. So they're down five to two as we go to inning number six. You talk about this World Baseball Classic with runners in scoring position. Puerto Rico hitting 450. Dominican Republic 260. Big difference. Right. Strike one from Castillo to Emmanuel Rivera. He's had some of those hits with runners in scoring position. Four runs batted in. We have seen a massive comeback in this pool. Now it fell short. Puerto Rico was down seven nothing to Venezuela. Down what nine to one? Yep. They got the tying run to home plate in the late innings. Good survivor right there. Steel. Really, really good. Really, really sharp stuff. I don't know about that fastball, upper 90s, but throws that slider 63% of the times. Strike three swinging. That is arms and legs coming at you. Then he snaps a slider like that. Look at this tight, tight spin on it. Now you see it, now you don't. It's kind of, if you had to describe pitching at the highest level now in this sport, you could do worse than say pitchers have never thrown harder and never thrown fewer fastballs. Harder fastballs than ever, but more of all the other stuff too. Oh yeah, no question. It just blew a fastball right by a good fastball hitter. Talk about bias. We've seen a steady diet of breaking balls. Started them off with a fastball. It better be a good one. Better be a good one. Better be down. to left center field. Rodriguez chasing and he will dive and make the catch. What a play. What a play.
Look at the angle he takes on him. Full extension. Wow. From robbing a magician to creating a little magic. Baez. Wow. <laughs> he says. Two down. Rosario takes low. When you talk about guys throwing harder, guys spinning the ball better. We've never seen the athletes we've seen in this day and age in our baseball. Ever. Baseball's being played at a higher level than it ever has been. Uh, no words. No need. Stack as he went 88 feet. To go catch that ball. I mean, you have to. You have to admire. Rodriguez made the misplay. Lindor scored. Since then, he's come up with a big hit to build a rally, and made that play. Wow. And backed up a play and started a terrific relay. He's made three tremendous plays since a mistake that exposed him to everybody here and everybody watching around the world. That's a mental toughness. Perseverance. Guy that can turn the page. That tells you a lot about that guy. Two and two to Eddie Rosario. Might have just missed a home run his last time up. Is that one foul? Talk about a guy that at all times in the box just just looks dangerous. A guy who, you know, they say as a, as a hitter, you got to keep your nose in there. It feels like his his face, his eyes, the demeanor, the body, everything's just in there. A guy who crowds the plate. What a take right there on two two. A guy who usually likes to hit the fastball. You hang a breaking ball though. Don't make you pay. Diego Castillo, 3 2 pitch. Popped up behind second. Marte out. Here comes Julio Rodriguez. That was a little more routine than the one he made just a moment ago. What a catch from Rodriguez. Totally robbing Javi Baez. It's 5 2 though. The Dominican Republic still trails. Well, it hadn't been boring tonight for Julio Rodriguez. Oh. One of the true young superstars of the game. Getting a little, maybe a little medical attention. Yeah, he's dug out a band aid. Those, those are a sticky spray right there. Maybe a blister. He's got to clean up a little bit. Five to two, Puerto Rico leads. Bottom of the sixth. Starting to get later in this game. Eloy Jimenez takes high from the new pitcher, Nicholas Padilla. And this 2023 World Baseball Classic. Two games, one and a third. The guy that started his his season in high A went all the way to Triple A. Big, big oh. stage for him. Got the call there. It's one and one. Well, if you're the Dominican, you know, you've had your chances. Talked about the runners in scoring position, how it just hasn't happened. But the time is now, I and mean, you're running out of outs. So you know you got that big boy in the ninth, Edwin Diaz. Jimenez crunches one to left center field into the gap and off the wall. Wow, that had some carry to it. Eloy Jimenez stand up double to start the inning. We talk about how good he's been in this World Baseball Classic. That ball was absolutely torched. Little breaking ball right there who just stays up. 
Look how tight he stays on that pitch, and now he stays through. Just missed the home run. Wow. Over 100 plus miles an hour, exit velo. Yeah, he's excited. Well, he's looked good, hasn't he? Really good. I know it's cliche this time of year to say best shape of his life. He looks oh. like he's in great shape. So immediately pressure on Padilla. You got the switch hitting portion of the lineup now. Franco, then Marte, then Candelario. So you wanted to be a manager. <laughs> They're grinding it out in there. <laughs> That's great. Well, they got a plan, all right. Trying to figure out who might be next here. Wander Franco has had two good at bats tonight. And he hits another ball hard, speared by Lindor behind the bag. He throws him out. Great play. Lindor just took away a hit from Franco. Unbelievable. Look at this. Lined up perfectly. One hopper. It's those soft hands. Oh, man. Can't teach it any better than that. A even perfect positioning. Yeah, it still was. That took incredible skill. Because that ball was hit hard. So now, Marte, he has a hit in two at bats. That makes the. I mean, look, you can't blame Wander Franco. He, he had a great at bat, but it wasn't out. The Dominican Republic with men on base, not just men in scoring position, but runners on base, one for ten. Well, it could have been a a mistake by Eloy, and he could have easily gone to third base. That was a good heads up by Eloy right there. Avoid disaster. That's a liner, and it's going to be caught. Wow. Melendez a sliding catch. Now we're seeing spectacular plays all over the field. You want to showcase the athleticism and the skill of the game of baseball. This is a game for you tonight. Well, you talk about a guy who came up as a catcher out here in the biggest stage as a right fielder today, MJ Melendez. Oh, what a play. Look at him. Look at that first step. Stay behind it. Beautiful. That is a good point. He is not a natural outfielder, he's a catcher. Has three straight rockets from the Dominican Republic and only one hit to show for it. This seems like their opportunity was now. Talk about that defense for Puerto Rico. They've come alive. Now Candelario, who remember last time up, he hit that bullet to first base that was caught so beautifully by Machin. Melendez. This whole tournament, they've played excellent defense. Talk about Kike Ball for a strike. Talk about Maldonado, what he's done behind the plate. Talk about Kike Hernandez in center field, basically catching everything that's hit his way. Today we've seen it with Machine, with MJ Melendez, right now with Lindor. Squibber. That's going to be a tough play. Patia off the mound, and he's got no play. All right. We tried hitting it hard. That <laughs> didn't work. Let's try something else. Sometimes you'd rather be lucky than good. This instant right here, a little bit out in front, but he'll take it anyway. Talking to his, his, his teammate right there. I mean, that's baseball for you. You wonder, wonder Franco and Cattell Marte are going, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> that's baseball. So now, once again, the tying run coming to home plate. It's the ninth place hitter, Mejia, and it's a critical hitter because of who would come up next. It's not, that that, up it's not that Mejia can't do it himself, but Juan Soto right now, you do not want to face Juan Soto with the lead on the line. Look at that meeting. You got action. Got Underwood. 
Is that Jorge Lopez? That's Lopez. Yeah. Hard throwing right hander. So since this is not the manager, this is the pitching coach. Padilla is going to stay in this game for at least one more hitter. And it might be the most critical hitter of the whole night. Just because of who's looming. Situation here is a little tricky. There's a runner on first base, but he has been throwing a lot of breaking balls. Well, the problem is that he is a free swinger. He likes to ambush. He's sitting on a pitch, and it's a bad pitch. He's going. Two on, two out. Padilla and Mejia hits a fly ball right center field. Melendez has a line on this one, and he makes a catch. After all that, no runs for the Dominican Republic. Some rockets, but nothing to show for it. We make our way into the late innings. They may never want this game to end. I take it back. Their team's winning. They want this game to end. <laughs> Five to two, Puerto Rico. With a four run third, another run in the fifth. The Dominican Republic has had lots of chances here tonight. Diego Castillo stays in the game. He'll face the bottom part of the order after pitching a scoreless sixth inning. Incredible defensive inning for Puerto Rico to keep this a 5 2 ball game. Christian Vasquez was homered tonight. Take strike one. Well located sinker right there. Fouled out of play. Talk about the Dominican team. Two for eight with runners in scoring position. Seven left on base. And some of that is just pure bad luck. We just yeah. saw it in the last half inning. Those were excellent at bats with runners in scoring position. One and two. Get through this half inning and Soto. Rodriguez and Machado are due up in the bottom half. Fly ball, center field. Rodriguez. One away. Well, look, I, I think if you're the Dominican team, you go back into that dugout and you can say, we're walking a hit away from a big inning, right? You just got to continue. That, that's the only way you're going to get out of this. It's by taking it one at bat at a time and saying to yourself, hey, a walk and a hit, two hits and a bloop. All of a sudden, you got to rally. All you can do is control what you can control, get good pitches to hit, and pass the baton. Machine, line drive, first pitch swinging. Rodriguez, two down. Hit it hard. With a smirk right there. Good piece of hitting. The Dominican team also has some moves to make late. If they need to maneuver a little bit, they've got talent on the bench. They have Lily Adamas and Te Oscar Hernandez and the World Series MVP Jeremy Pena, among others. There are two of them. Part of the experience of this tournament, these guys love being together, playing together. From veterans to rookies. I know the friendship a lot of people have here with you know the GM, Nelson Cruz. A lot of these guys work out together in the offseason, not just the Dominicans, but the Puerto Ricans as well. Do you know to Martin Maldonado. And Nelson Cruz is he's an active player on the roster. He's available if they need him, but he's also the, the general manager of this team. Had a base hit yesterday. 
Maybe next time around he'll be the field manager. Maybe. That one hit him. So Castillo came in and hit Maldonado. That's a big mistake with two outs and nobody on. Now you got to face Lindor. Take a look here at this slider. It's a little cement slider. It just doesn't fade down. Maldonado does such a good job just keeping that elbow in there. That's why you wear that guard. And I don't believe that Lindor is going to face Castillo. So he's making the call. Camilo Doval has got some of the greatest stuff in the game. He'll face Lindor when we come back to Miami. Sure doesn't feel like it. It feels like a championship game. Camilo Doval trying to keep the Dominican within a five to two score. The young, hard throwing late inning reliever for the Giants. Oh, a lot of slider cutter usage for Camilo. It is explosive. Some of the most explosive stuff we're about to see in this tournament. Camilo Doval has it. Diego Castillo out, responsible for Maldonado, who got hit by a pitch that's over at first base. Lindor has been the star of the night for Puerto Rico. And they've had a few others, but Lindor has been in the middle of everything offensively, defensively. When is he not? That's supposed to happen with your best player. Yeah. He's their guy. Your leader, your captain, your MVP. He's having a great week. But he's got to wrestle with a guy who's got stuff unlike almost anybody else. It's not to say he can't beat it, but. Camilo Doval, that cutter, sometimes you'll see 104 out yep. of his cutter. Yep. Sometimes. He's got a sinker as well. I mean, there's a cutter, sinker, slider. That's kind of what he likes to go with. In a tough situation, it's that cutter slider. First pitch, 100 Hi. miles an hour, strike <laughs> one. And that's just kind of like I'm getting started. Saw the movement on that sinker right there. A lot of the knock on him was, hey, tends to get wild at times, but so far in this tournament, he's been lights out. The door was on it, timed it, fouled it back. 0 and 2. Talk about how explosive it is. His fastballs reach 104 miles an hour. And doors in a hole. The 0-2. 101, but not close. Well, Lindor's seen three of them already. Gotta be careful with a hitter like this, as we can see it. Two seasons. And it's not always the strikeouts. This guy gets as many ground balls and broken bats as just about anybody. Hey. Strike three call. <laughs> Top of the order coming up, and that means that guy. Puerto Rico has not gotten him out yet tonight. It'll be Juan Soto. We go to the seventh inning stretch in Miami. Here we go. The big hitters lining up now for the Dominican Republic. This game getting late. Jorge Lopez, outstanding late inning reliever, first with the Orioles last year, then traded to the Twins. Big hard throwing right hander comes on for Puerto Rico, leading five to two, but he's got his hands full. Soto, Julio Rodriguez, Manny Machado. And I'm not saying this is the last best chance for. The Dominican Republic, it's not. It's only the seventh inning. But Edwin Diaz is oh, yeah. looming over the presence of this game. Oh yeah. His his presence is being felt. I guarantee you that. And they know it in both dugouts. Soto, who's walked twice and hit a monstrous home run. 
takes a breaking ball just a little bit high ball one. Well, the tough thing about Lopez is he was a starter converted into a closer meaning he's got really good feel of all his pitches. But most of the time you get a closer it's a two pitch guy not this guy this guy's got plus plus stuff with all his pitches. That one called a strike. The beauty of being a starter to a closer you can you can just air it out. It's one inning. That's why I think he's been so dominant. He's got a really good changeup, a really good cutter, a good curveball we saw there. But his fastball is as good as, his, as as anybody's fastball in the game. The changeup there, so no smiling at him. It's a good one. That fastball can reach up to 98 miles an hour, but he's got so many weapons. He can go back foot slider, go back to the changeup. Could freeze him in. Might go back to it. The one two. Soto. Hey. Strike three called. Huge first out the first time they've retired him tonight. Boy, that was a dandy right there. Back to back change ups. Perfectly executed. Check out the turn on this. Ay Dios mío. Oh. A one very big out. And now Rodriguez. Strike one at ninety six. For three with the one hit, a big misplay in the outfield, but another couple great defensive plays. Swings through the high breaking ball, 0 2. I wouldn't be surprised if he throws him a right on right change up here after a curveball or a breaking ball like that. It's very tough. Really react to that change up. He's thrown some good ones. It's like a little waste pitch. The O2. Laid off the hard slider. This pitch, how he uses the mid to go back to home plate. He gets around that slider, makes it look like a strike. It's clearly a ball. Yeah, that's a big spot for a pitch that far outside yeah. the strike zone to get called. Talk about how valuable Maldonado is, though. You know, with the umpire doesn't have the little square. Yeah, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's not easy. Back out there. Yeah, if you're Maldonado, you've exposed it, right? Since the first inning. Rigucioni, he's been all over him. So you see Manny right there talking to Maldonado and just staring at him like Maldonado's talking right now to Guciano. He's telling me, hey, don't don't look at me like that. You know that that's a ball. <laughs> Machado, 0 for 3 tonight. Including a double play that might be the big play of the game. You got to give Alexis Diaz credit for finding a way. But all heck was breaking loose to get that ground ball. That's a strike. 97. That is absolutely painted.
One two. Oh, he tried to get that pitch again. That was the one. Almost exactly the one that got called against Rodriguez. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same one. Well, would he surprise him and freeze him with a two seamer, a backdoor two seamer, or would he stay soft with the slider? Two two. That's a ball. <laughs> oh boy. I don't think it was a ball. Real close. But very close. Anything's in play now. Fade away from Manny. Chano feels like Lopez is, is trying to quick pitch it. Situations like this, though. Slider. 3 2. Machado, a pop up. We'll see. First base side. And out of play. <laughs> He's asking where. The previous pitch, huh? The, the other pitch had been called a ball. Yeah, get out of here. Did it work? Yeah, it worked. There's not much wind with the roof closed. So we get another 3 2 pitch here. What a battle. Machado, foul. Very deep, but foul. Bought himself a slider. Threw him a changeup right there. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up right here. Three two. Machado broken bat. Cut off in front of Lindor and Rivera throws him out. What an inning for Jorge Lopez. Wow. Wow. Five to two, we go to the eighth. On to the eighth inning now. Francisco Lindor coaching, teaching, pep talks, great plays. <laughs> Imitating, analyzing, breaking it down. Almost like he's doing the Juan Soto impression. Camilo Doval back out after he got Lindor in the top of the seventh, eighth inning, and really for the Dominican, they have to hold the line to have any chance. Already up against it. Hernandez takes a strike. We talk about Team Puerto Rico and what they've done to kind of maneuver themselves in that order. Alexis Diaz, Jorge Lopez, they, they fought through the heart of that yep. Dominican lineup and they've done an excellent, excellent job. And it's no accident that one slapped foul. Those are two of the very best. Puerto Rico and they've saved him for the best hitters. This was the last time Kike was up. Rodriguez to Marte to Machado out. They reviewed it. It was oh so close. But he was out. He's got two hits in this game. Oh, it'll still be two. 102 for strike three swinging. <laughs> And I mean, this is just not fair. And the stuff is massive. Look at this four seamer ride right now. Unhittable PK over match right there. That 0 2. That's what it sounds like coming at you. 
Well, it, it, you might as well listen because you can't see it. Well, it, it feels like a white aspirin coming at you from three feet away. That's what 102 miles feels like. that was tremendous and even one of those at bats where he didn't get a hit was a big get back to get home a run home set up more the winner advances the loser is done what a game. Go. Yes, he did. Chris Guccione didn't need any help. One and two. I mean, you talk about a dude, 104 miles an hour, and then just throws that slider off of it at 90. And he used to be, but one thing about Camilo Doval, he used to throw that slider a ton. And I think as he's grown as a pitcher, he's learned how to mix things up a little better. It's made him even tougher. Fouled away. And that's 102. With cut. Nothing is straight. It's either cutting or sinking or sliding. My dad, when I was younger, would throw beans at me. And I would have to hit him with a, a broomstick stick. But I don't even know how to how to train for something like that at 102 miles an hour with that cutter. Like that one right there, that slider. And every once in a while that slider leave it up maybe that's the pitch that can be a little bit vulnerable a little yeah but it can also be a wipeout strikeout pitch one thing's for certain the future's bright yeah he's still a kid one two <laughs> strike three call Phase three hitters, he struck them all out. And that's Francisco Lindor, Kike Hernandez, and now Melendez. You can see that two seamer right there at the top of the zone. And here does a good job of framing it. That was a strike. That doesn't, I don't know if it's a, a real true two seamer or a one seam. These guys are throwing that nowadays. Get more bite out of it going down. So many guys have that cut fastball, that natural cut. On the ground with the shift. That's Marte, the second baseman. And just a dominant four hitter stretch for Camilo Doval. Doesn't look like he was all that much bothered by the pressure of the night. It's 5 to 2, Puerto Rico. One team is already through from Pool D, which uh, universally consider the toughest pool in this World Baseball Classic. Venezuela has played great. They're undefeated. They'll be the top team from Pool D. One last spot, and it goes to the winner of this game. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. The winner moves on. The loser is finished for this World Baseball Classic, which is, in a way, a shame because one of the great teams in the world will be done. But it's also given us the gift of the drama of this night. Eighth inning and Dwayne Underwood out of the bullpen almost hits Rafi Devers with his very first pitch. He hasn't allowed a hit in this whole tournament. Both times he's pitched game one game three ten pitches. Guy who's cut his barrel rate significantly. Fastball change up at a cutter curveball repertoire but this is cutter change for you coming your way. Devers, who was 0 for 3 in this game and has been a frustrated hitter. He has not had a great night at the plate. He's the designated hitter. They've pitched him very, very tough. On the ground, into the shift. Javi Baez throws him out. One away. How you say easy in Spanish? Fossi. Okay, Fossi. He makes everything look so easy. 
you got so many things going there on that ground ball. You got a lip, got a hard hit ball, got the turf. Look at that. Moving to his right, no problema. Well, that's one big out. Puerto Rico trying to get the next two outs so they could give the ball to the best closer in the world. Oh. Eloy Jimenez, strike one. Got the very low strike there. Jimenez, one for three with a double. Give Yadi Molina some credit managing this game tonight because a bullpen yep. game for an inexperienced manager not that easy. He has made sure that his best guys have faced the best hitters. Unbelievable. Made all the right calls. Problem is the Dominican have a lot of best hitters. They do. <laughs> but. He's done just a, a marvelous job. They're all great. But One, two. Got it. Two down. Just looks like these hitters are completely unmatched. See that one team right there? That dive. Elo had no chance. Underwood really made some good pitches during that at bat. Hit the ball really down and in on him. Executed all his pitches. Did we see another 10 pitch up appearance? He's had two of them. Yeah, you're right. He's lined up if he could get through Franco here in three pitches. First one, Franco taking all the way. Strike one. Pretty comfortable out there considering the stakes. Two down, nobody on. Three run lead for Puerto Rico. In this bottom part of the order, all switch hitters, four of them in a row, and all of them better against left handers than right handers. I think there's a reason why they've all hit lefty today. Pulled down the right field line, a foul ball. I think that Yachty had something to do with that. In a way, and I'm not, I'm not saying there were other choices, but in a way, it's kind of negated the value of having switch hitters like that. It's been a little easier to match up against. So now, one strike from getting through this eighth inning. To throw at least an 11th pitch. One and two. It's about what Maldonado wanted him to do, I think. Yeah. Well, it's just a setup. Could be that cutter, it could be that change up now. A little shake. One seam. Check out the movement on this pitch. Two, two. Off the inside. And he pulled it. You got to tell Marte waiting on deck. Marte, he's had good swings all game long. So I think has. I think the Dominican would love to give him a chance with somebody on base. Two. Franco on the ground to third. That's Rivera to gobble it up and throw him out. Underwood retires the side in order. And we go to the ninth inning. Puerto Rico three outs away. The Dominican Republic down to their final three outs in the World Baseball Classic. First things first, though. They got to get through the top of the ninth inning, give themselves some kind of chance 
I'm sure Edwin Diaz will be getting ready now. Hector Neris for the Dominican will come into pitch. His third appearance of this tournament. We're going to see a lot of fastballs and splitters. Fastball split slider. For the most part, it's just fastball splitter. He's pitched well in this tournament. They need a huge zero here. Guy who pitched in the World Series in October, and now with this scene, this adrenaline here, just a few months later, Javi Baez first pitch swing, foul ball. Think El Caballo Diaz, he's getting loose. Uh, yes. You think it, I think it, everybody in the ballpark <laughs> is thinking it. Half swing and a miss. Yep, there he is. One of the best walkout music. Well, we won't get that here, we which is get a that shame. Here, but But the stuff's going to be the same, music oh, yeah. or not. Another ball fouled by Baez. Javi Baez over three was robbed by Julio Rodriguez. He, he made a move on that splitter right there that uh, I would be shocked if it gets repeated. I mean, he saw that splitter very, very well. Number two, he threw it again, and he, he didn't even budge at it. Used to be a guy, and he threw the splitter like 60% of the yeah. time for a good chunk of his career. Well, repeating it. Two and two. For Baez right now, the situation is, is, is to simplify, right? Look out over on the heater. The splitter's got to start up for you to react on. You're sitting fastball all the way through up in the zone, especially away, so that you can react to the hanging split. Trust the eyes, trust the hands. Go play ball. Just foul there. <laughs> That's kind of what he did, isn't it? This one's fair, and Machado's got it. Throws out Baez. So he went back to the fastball and got him. It's a good pitch. Javi just rolled over it. One out. Yeah, he wants that pitch back. I think for Hector, though, this the first out is the toughest. I can settle in. Make some pitches. That's a strike with the splitter. One thing's for certain here the Conga line is at its best. It's at its peak right now. Oh my gosh. It's <laughs> You've been in the Conga line before? It may, it may not end until tomorrow morning. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's from the Puerto Rican side or the Dominican side. The Conga line is alive. They, they were they were both going at it hours before this game. Can't imagine a better showcase for the sport than this tonight. Rosario right through the fastball, one and two. You were right. This is the Super Bowl. It feels like it. The one two. Foul away. Everybody gets the day off tomorrow. 
much needed they are. Much needed. So regroup, rest up, pitchers get to rest. And then two quarterfinal games here in Miami. The other two in Tokyo, one's already been played. One will be played early in the morning tomorrow, Japan and Italy. And those teams will fly the long flight to Miami. But they get a few days to get acclimated because quarterfinals will be going on. They're already into the semis. Cuba is headed this way, and then probably Japan, but who knows? Good battle here. One, two. Struck him out with the splitter. Oh. He's gone to work right now, especially with two outs, with one out. He does. Rodney Linares does have a lot of options available on the bench. And depending on the situation, I know most of them are right handed. Yeah. And Edwin Diaz is going to be coming in the game, but Teoscar Hernandez, if you need a big fly, Gene Segura, Jeremy Pena. You have the bottom of your order Marte, then Candelario and Mejia lined up. Those guys don't look like they're getting ready to get in at bat. I, and I, I couldn't agree with you more. You know, I, I think for me, you stick with the left handers. I think the righties have a tougher time with that slider. You know, his arms and, and legs coming all, all at you. I think Gene could be that guy that you need a big hit. He can, he can stick his nose in it. You can see him that he looks like he's ready to have an at bat. Strike two. Oh. The problem with Edwin is. He's so deceptive. Three quarter guy, a lot of movement with his fastball. Slider, as we know, is pretty much unhittable when it's on. I'm sure they're thinking through everything right now, trying to get to the bottom of the ninth inning, take a shot at the greatest. 0 2 pitch. Foul back out of play. And there are other great late inning relievers, but. Season that Edwin Diaz had last year. Ooh. Automatic. Almost unprecedented. The dominance. O2. Struck him out swinging. So here we go. The great Edwin Diaz will be coming in. Dominican Republic facing elimination. They're going to have to. Pull off a magic trick. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Right now, the best late inning reliever in the world trying to get Puerto Rico into the quarterfinals. Three outs away. And his first pitch misses to Cattell Marte for ball one. Gene Segura has a bat. He's in the on deck circle. Look at those numbers. All on two pitches, slider fastballs. And the strikeout total is just insane. Has had some of the best at bats of the night. Diaz and Marte way out in front of 22. Not wasting any time. The one two. Got it. You want to talk about filthy? You can, Edwin can tell him it's coming. He still won't hit it. That's special. So now Segura, if they can get somebody on base, Soto would get a chance against Diaz. Segura has a little positive history. Three for eight against him. A little. Former teammates. Smiling at him. <laughs> Edwin just, just kind of gave him the I'm here. Just look right at him. They're locker mates in Seattle. What a teammate. 
Puerto Rico two outs away. At some point here, he'll throw him the fastball. Dirt with the slider. One one. Slider. That's tight. The execution on it, on the word of miss. One two. He threw the fastball. That's it. <laughs> okay, there was your one, Gene. Yeah. He threw that for the conversation later on. You can't say I didn't give you one. One, two. I gave him another one. Foul back. Take right there. I would be surprised if he throws one of the sliders. Right now, 2 2, it's possible. Got it. Fastball? No. Slider? Yes. Two down. He likes it. He wants people up on their feet. After that strike though, he was just waving everybody. Everybody get up now. Just nasty. Now Teoscar Hernandez will try to keep the Dominican Republic alive in this World Baseball Classic. Two down, ninth inning. Ball one. Welcome to the game. No kidding. Diaz. That's ball, strike one. Got him high and tight. That's his pitch. Whoops. Two one. He's going to get that one. Oh. Two, two. Celebration has to wait at least one more pitch. That's a tight slider right there. Oscar trying to do everything possible, and so was Maldonado. Here we go. Two-two. Went right back. 
to almost that same spot. The control is just elite. It I mean, really is. That's why. That's why he's the best. It's elite with two pitches. Well, full count. You got Soto on deck. Three two. Fouled away. Well, you got to give Teoscar Hernandez some credit here. Off the bench for his first at bat of the game, down to your final out against the guy with maybe the best stuff in the world. He's fighting. Special. Another 3 2. Foul the way again. Just feels like the longer the at bat, right? More to Oscars. Okay. Right, but I mean, this is just it's elite, elite against elite. Here we go again, 3 2. Foul the way, another foul ball. That was the eighth pitch of the at bat. This will be the ninth coming up. The beauty of this is the smiles that are going around this at bat. And if you can't, if you can't appreciate this, this is this is how they play the game in the Caribbean. Enjoy it and always remember to have fun. 3 2. That is hey. strike three called. Diaz isn't really hurt. He might be. Gosh, that would be the only thing that could put a damper on a great night for baseball and a great win for Puerto Rico. You can only hope it's not as bad as it looks based on those faces. Can't see yet. Right knee. Right knee. And everybody knew right away Diaz must have said something went really wrong. Dominican players, they're all top step right now, fearing for him and feeling for him as well. Oh no. System. That was his brother. Crying. Well, we 
can only hope. Only hope. Got a fear for Alexis Diaz. Yeah. See Manny there. Everybody's just in shock. You know, this that's the thing. Game's the game, but these guys are our brothers on and off the field. Nothing else matters but the health. One biological brother, 29 baseball brothers on that Puerto Rican team. And truly one of the, the great nights for the game in recent history. Incredible game. Ended like that. Puerto Rico does advance. They will play Mexico in the quarterfinals. And we sure do hope that Edwin Diaz is going to be okay. What a game tonight. What a game. Well played game. The leader, Francisco Lindor. Really came to play today. He's come to play all series, all tournament. But in general, we wish everybody the best, the best of health. But what a game. So Puerto Rico gets the win five to two for Yonder Alonso and our great crew, Dave Fleming, saying thanks for being with us tonight. Puerto Rico advances. Dominican Republic eliminated our best to Edwin Diaz.